in just a few moments. Look at that streak across the sky, y'all. 2.48 in the morning. Just flying around. Just in case it starts doing weird movements. Looks almost like an angel. Are you zoomed in? Yeah. Somebody's walking around out there very close to the tent. Have an update regarding the time traveler. I messed around with my little sister's camera. And we just found something. Like, look at, look at her face. Hi, I'm James the Third, and you're watching the Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today, we're going to be taking a look at mind-blowing phenomena caught on camera, from the unexplained videos of a supposed time traveler that was caught on camera this week to a mysterious stone with supernatural powers that was uncovered deep in the woods in Brazil. These and many more creepy videos of encounters in the woods unexplained glitches and paranormal activity. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. I'll just picture the following situation. It's a beautiful and sunny day outside and you're with your friends or family and you decide to go for a walk. Everyone is expecting to have a great time and this is exactly what happens up until the moment that you look high up in the sky and you spot what looks like some sort of metallic object. I was recording video, but then it disappeared. Where'd it go? Come on, sir. Come on. You want to go there? Huh? You push the right out and you pull it. Yes, pull it. Just in case it starts doing weird movements. It's predator. So you get your camera, you zoom in, and it's not an object. It's nothing like you've ever seen before. This is exactly what happened with a family in San Antonio, Texas a while ago, when they spotted what looked like some sort of flying humanoid with wings. This is what they caught on camera. Check this out. Where'd it go? Yeah. 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 What the is that? Where'd it go? Huh! What? Does it show good on you? Yeah. Can I see? Looks almost like an angel. Are you zoomed in? Yeah, it's all the way in. Can I see? Can I see it, Mom? Can I see? Here, look. Come look at it. I can't. can't see it. At this moment, the family captures what looks like a giant winged creature and what's really strange about it is that its wings seem to be shining. In other words, it seems like it could be metallic. What's even weirder is that its movement seems to be organic. So it's not a drone or anything like that. I was recording video, but then it disappeared. Where'd it go? Whatever this thing is, it seems as if it's too big to be any known animal like a bird, for example. Strange, isn't it? What makes it even stranger is that it's not the first time that something like this is seen. Hey Yaz, what does it look like? Like it. Actually, I don't know. Cute. <laughs> Since 2017, creatures like this one have been sighted all over the world, mainly in Lake Michigan, Illinois, New Jersey, Spain, and Chile. And they saw what looked like a very large man, six or seven feet tall. And looking back, this thing rose up in the air and followed their car. And they were going over 60 miles an hour. In most sightings, people describe seeing what looks like a large bat or bird-like entity with glowing eyes and humanoid features. And in ancient culture, there's loads of myths of winged creatures that can fly. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and people were divided. 
Some believe that this is just a bird or maybe a balloon, while others state that this is possibly an angel or some sort of unknown humanoid creature. What's really creepy about this is the amount of people who claim to have seen something similar. But when it comes to strange things in the sky, it doesn't stop there. On April this year, at approximately 2.30 a.m. in the morning, a woman goes outside and notices something strange in the sky. She gets her camera and immediately starts recording what was about to become one of the strangest videos when it comes to mysterious lights in the sky. Check this out. Look at that streak across the sky, y'all. 2.48 in the morning. What the f*** is that? This is a long streak across the sky here at 2.48 a.m. I'm just getting home from my gig at Swig. And I noticed this up in the sky. I'm like, I ain't never seen nothing like that. No rainbow, nothing like that in the sky at night. In the early morning, we hours in the morning. What the f is that? Okay, y'all. Feedback? Tell me what's going on. But yeah, that's what's going on in the night sky here. I hear Parker see it early in the morning. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I got that on film. What looks like a huge streak of light can clearly be seen in the night sky. The location is unknown, but several people believe that this could be in Arizona or maybe in Utah. After being posted, several people left comments stating that this is possibly a light strobe or maybe a spotlight coming in from a party or an event on the ground. Others believe that this could be the aurora due to the fact there will be a strange magnetic anomaly going on in the US that could actually make the aurora visible in certain states. Others believe that this could be some sort of portal or maybe a time rift opening up in the sky. Now at first, this might sound far-fetched, but if we take into consideration certain strange sightings that happened this month, like this one for instance from Buenos Aires, Argentina, where a person captured what looks like some sort of portal-like object high up in the sky. It could just be that there's something strange going on, and we're not aware of it. But I'm not too sure. What's your take? Do you think that this could be just a spotlight or something like that? Or is it something else entirely? Have you ever heard of the Philosopher's Stone or Out of Place Artifacts? Back in the 1400s, a French manuscript seller by the name of Nicolas Flamel developed a reputation of being an alchemist, and a pretty good one. And at the time he claimed to have discovered the Philosopher's Stone, a stone that was known to have supernatural capabilities. Now the legend of the Philosopher's Stone begins somewhere in ancient Egypt, and it tells of a substance that can turn any metal into gold and grant eternal life. Interesting, isn't it? But what's most interesting is that very little is known about the Philosopher's Stone. Its origin, where it came from, and how it all started. Now even though it's considered a myth, or just a bad time story, to this day researchers and archaeologists are still in search for evidence of this mysterious stone. And just a couple of weeks ago, a treasure hunter by the name of John Ventura was deep in the woods somewhere in Brazil when all of a sudden he came across this mysterious stone. Check this out. Mas tava quente, John. Não tá gelado. Tá gelado? Tá gelado. Ué? Credo? Não, tá esquentando, cara. Tá esquentando, pega pra você ver aí. Tá Caramba, mesmo? tá quente mesmo. Tá mesmo, cara. Gente do céu. É pegando ela. Caraca, meu. Que coisa, cara. Ela esquenta, cara. Vamos pôr, ó, se põe aqui na. Ó. Ó, não sei se dá pra você ver, ó. Ó, olha lá, olha lá as bolinhas lá, ó. Ó, tá borbulhando. Ó. Não é possível, cara. Ficou bem vermelha, cara. Olha isso. Olha, ficou vermelha. Mudou? Mudou a cor. Ó, ficou vermelha. Mudou a cor, ó. O cameraman pegou legal, ó. 
Gente do céu. While metal detecting somewhere in the woods in Brazil, they came across this wooden box with certain details in gold, and inside of it was this rock. Whatever this thing is, it apparently can change color and temperature when someone touches it or when it comes in contact with water. In this particular part of the video, we can see it heating up the water. And then, when they put it back into the box, it gets colder and you can clearly see it changing color. Up until this moment, there's not much information on what this mysterious rock could be, but I'm guessing that this is most likely some sort of ancient artifact, maybe even related to ancient myths of underground cities hidden deep within the Amazon forest. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and caught a lot of attention. Many internet users believe that this could be the Philosopher's Stone, while others state that this is a carnelian crystal and some others believe that this is red mercury. Tales about this supernatural substance known as red mercury began circulating back in the 1940s, and it was said to be a material so valuable and so dangerous that it was only handled by top-level leaders and scientists. There are many theories about its composition, but to this day, no one really knows what it's made of or if it actually exists. However, there are many videos out there of people who claim to have a hold of this mysterious substance known as red mercury. In most cases, these artifacts are said to have originated from pharaonic times in ancient Egypt. And in most of the times, these artifacts have very similar supernatural properties. Ah, yes. When in contact with water and certain liquids, it heats him up. It interferes with electronic devices. it does not reflect on a mirror. Among many other strange properties, which begs the question, if this is indeed real, is this alien-like artifact actually from Earth? Or was it made by an advanced civilization that may have inhabited this planet somewhere in the past? Now, if the stone that was supposedly found by John Ventura in Brazil is indeed red mercury, I'm not exactly sure. It does seem to have some strange properties. Do you think that this could be the Philosopher's Stone, red mercury, or something else entirely? What's your take? Now, I don't know if you know about this, but every year around 38 million people go camping just in the US alone. That's quite a lot of people. And from all of these people, some of them choose to go stealth camping, which is a bit different. Now, stealth camping is about living temporarily in a location, usually for recreation, in a covert or secretive fashion. And for the past few months, a YouTube channel by the name of The Northwest Wind has been doing videos focused on stealth camping. And in most of them, things go just about right. But in one particular video, he decides to go camping deep in the woods next to a park. Rain today, there's only two other cars parked over there right now. People come jog here, come ride their bikes here. It is a dog park. It's a cloudy day and Sam is prepared to spend the night in the woods. He expects things to go smoothly, but they don't. This is what happens. So that was the end of the official trail. There's all kinds of unofficial trails that go all through these woods. It's a couple hundred acres. Don't think you're allowed to camp back here, but I'm not camping. I'm just gonna lay my head for the night in a stealthy way. After walking for about 15 minutes, he decides to set up his tent. 
He notices, however, that there's something strange about this particular spot. This looks pretty nice up here. I think we're gonna call this home for the evening. Looks pretty dry. Well, relatively. What do you know? This looks like a tent or a tarp. That kind of sketches me out. Um, so that's the remains of a tent and a tarp. That means somebody's camped back here before? At this point, we can see Sam having second thoughts about camping at this particular spot. But after observing the surroundings, he camps there anyway. And this is what happens. Alright, so it's getting dark. Somebody just walked by. I don't know if they had a dog or not, but they definitely didn't see me, but I could barely, barely see them. The tent does not sit high at all. I've been sitting on my Pelly case. One thing I don't like is the low ceiling. After setting up the tent, he vlogs for a while and then he goes to sleep. And this is when things take a really strange turn. There's somebody. Hang on. I don't know if they can see it or not through the tent. I don't think so. I'm leaning right up against the light, but somebody's walking around out there very close to the tent. Things get strange and creepy real quick. And Sam, now completely desperate and anxious, tries to talk to whomever or whatever is outside. And this is what happens. Hello? 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 All right, I don't like this. Hello? Hello? They're touching my tent. Hello, I'm in here. Hello? Right, I'm getting the f out of here. Hello? I don't know what the f this is, but we're getting out of here. Hang on. Hello? Okay, they're walking away now. What do you want? What do you want? I have a knife. Where's my knife? Now, pretty scared, Sam reaches for everything inside of his tent with the intention of leaving this place as fast as possible. When he goes outside, this is what happens. They collapsed my tent on me. I don't know which way they went. I think they went this way. I see you. Get away! All right, I'm spooked. I don't like this. Get my headlamp on and we're getting out of here right now. They collapsed my tent on me and pulled the fly off while I was still in there. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. All right, they're moving again. I don't know. I'm getting out of here. We're going. I'll come back for this some other time. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I'm leaving. Don't follow me. I don't know where to go. I don't know which way to get out of here. At this point, Sam gets the heck out of there as fast as possible, so he starts running towards his car. The only problem is... Whomever or whatever was there outside his tent seems to be following him. Check this out. Hang on, is this still recording? Is it still recording? Is it still recording? Right at the edge of the wood line. It's about 150 yards away. Hang on. You see that? I see you! I can see you! Oh, it's, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. All right, let's get here. I don't know if they're like after me or something or what the is happening. We're getting the It's getting bigger. They're coming this way. Holy I don't like this. I'm calling the police. After a few minutes, he reaches his car and gets the heck out of there safely. Okay. All right, we're getting out of here. To this day, Sam does not know whom or what was following him around. My phone, everything's muddy, disgusting. My knee, I'm soaked. I gotta go home. All right, let's drive out. I wanna know your thoughts. What would you have done differently in this situation? Since the dawn of civilization, humanity has always been captivated by mysterious and unexplained phenomena. Think about it. 500 years ago, people had virtually no means to verify their encounters with the inexplicable whether it was a bizarre creature or a beam of light descending from the sky. Whoa. 
but no. Am I tripping? You cannot tell me that it's not floating. Like for instance, this very strange video posted by the Dash Man. In it, you can see some sort of anomaly going on in the lake. It's as if there's something invisible bending the fog and the lake. Now, even though some people say that this is a natural phenomena, others believe that this could be a glitch in the matrix. But this is definitely something that if you showed your friends or family, they would not believe it unless they saw it with their own eyes. The ability to capture such events and share them with friends, family, or even the world is very recent. But something that I've come to notice is that even in our modern era, equipped with CCTV cameras capturing our every move, there's very little video evidence of the existence of time travel. Or at least, that was the case until last week. Coming onto my property to what looks like rob my house, but it actually turns out... Just a couple of weeks ago, Alex Shaw posted a very strange video to his account. Now, normally Alec posts videos related to his real estate business, but in one particular video just about two weeks ago on April 28th, something really strange happened at an Airbnb that he has in Miami, something that he couldn't explain. And this is what he caught on camera. He's coming onto my property to what looks like rob my house, but it actually turns out he is a time traveler. So as you can see, he's wandering around my backyard I don't know what he's trying to do. Now he's like thinking like where to go and he actually ends up going into my shed. So you can see he opens it, goes into the shed. So I'm fast forwarding the time so you can see there's no movement. He never leaves the shed. And I'm talking on the, the camera. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Why are you in my shed? He never answers, he never leaves the shed. I literally was watching it the whole time. So I end up calling the police. You could see in the last one, the police coming through the front yard. And then here's the police coming into the backyard. And you can see they literally go inside. They go inside and I'm talking to them. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. At this point, Alec talks to the policeman through his ring camera, and this is what happens. Okay. Was he not in that shed? No, he was not. There's nobody in there. Both sheds. What the? Okay, I'm sorry for wasting you guys' time. I really didn't see him leave the shed, though. So I don't know exactly. how he's not in there. At this point, policemen check the shed once more, and there's absolutely no trace at all of the young man who went inside. It's as if he disappeared into thin air. Alec then posts a full video with sound of the young man going inside the shed. So this is a full video with sound. So you hear if he talks. He does talk at some point here. I've watched this so many times to see but you can see him like wandering around like he throws up his arms he's about to talk see he talks right there he says D like what is he looking for like he's being super mysterious and then he goes into the shed at this point the young man goes into the shed and according to alex ring cameras he never comes out the same day policemen check the shed and there's no one there strange isn't it but it gets even stranger. The next day, Alex ring cameras capture an older person leaving the shed, as if materialized out of thin air. So the time traveler leaves the shed the next day and goes off screen. And a lot of people think I'm hiding the front camera footage of him leaving because they think this is a skit. So let's look at the front camera and see where he goes. To the front camera, you can see him walking to the front. But yeah, he's looking sus. He walks out the gate. He's looking back at the house. Like, I don't know what he's looking at. You know, suspiciously crosses the street. And then there's a car here. This is when something really odd happens. The old man looks inside the car as if he's looking for someone or something, but apparently there's no one inside. Um, and he like looks through the passenger window and then it's gonna, it's gonna stutter a little bit cause it's going between clips, but he looks through the passenger window and then just continues walking. A few moments later, however, the car turns on, makes a U-turn and goes the same direction as the old man, as if it was waiting for him. 
Now this part's a little creepy because when he looked through the car, it looked like nobody was in the car. Like that car was sitting there for a little bit. Drives off. Really strange, isn't it? But here's where things get even stranger. Alex's videos caught a lot of attention and the internet was divided. Some people believe that this is the real deal while others think that this is a very elaborate hoax and it could be. But then, an internet profile by the name of Medi Icerance started digging around so he did a reverse search on the old man. And what he found may actually prove that this is not some elaborate hoax. So here's the kid that went in the shed next to the guy that came out of the shed the next day. And when you search the image, it looks like this guy, Stephen Albert Miller. And that's his picture from Quora, where he asks questions about time travel. So Matty does a reverse search and comes across Stephen Miller, who studied at Harvard University and was very interested in time travel. What a coincidence, isn't it? But it doesn't stop there. I also found an obituary for Stephen Albert Miller from 2018, July of 2018. And there was only one person that posted like a little tribute. And there it is right there. So I uh, searched that person in the book of faces, found another tribute, but this one is dated 2017, saying that he died in 2018. To make things even stranger, Maddie also found an interview with Stephen Miller. But Steve also had a design, like a graphic design website very in-depth interview with him. Very interested in sound, uh, like frequencies and resonance, and metaphysical transference of consciousness. He also came across a website that states that Stephen Miller had a house in Florida. But the shed is located in Florida. Steve also has a previous address of Sarasota, Florida. Hmm. Now, if Stephen Miller is indeed a time traveler or not, I'm not exactly sure and I guess that no one is. But if we slow-mo and replay both videos of the young man going inside the shed and the older guy getting out, it seems as if they're legit. There's no explanation to what's going on here. Not only that, there's too many strange coincidences. Could both the young and the older man be the same person? And are they actually Stephen Miller? Or is there something else entirely going on here? But when it comes to unexplained and mysterious glitches caught on camera, it doesn't stop there. In this particular video, a security guard notices something strange at 6.45 a.m. in the morning. He was just about to leave his shift on the second floor of a building he works at when all of a sudden he notices a man standing in the middle of the street. It's when he checks the security cameras that he notices that something's not right. This is what he saw. The security cameras do not seem to be picking anyone up, even though there's clearly a person standing on the middle of the street. After being posted, several internet users left comments stating that the man was standing at a blind spot. But then others believe that this is possibly a ghost or a spirit due to the fact that the man does not seem to have a shadow. Others also believe this could be a legit glitch in the Matrix. But it gets even stranger. A couple of friends were enjoying their time at a beach in Brazil when all of a sudden they noticed a shadow being cast on the ground. But there was nothing that could explain it. Check this out. At this point, they get closer to the shadow to check it out, and this is what they caught on camera. After being posted, internet users were divided. Some state that this is a legit glitch in the matrix, while others state that this is just burned sand. Now taking into consideration that this is not the first time something like this happens. I see that shadow? Where? 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 
Where are the clouds? Where are the clouds? It could just be the real deal. However, I'm gonna leave it up to you. What do you really think is going on here and have you ever seen or captured a glitch in the matrix yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. Since the very beginning of humanity, it's always been quite common for kids to have imaginary friends. In a not so distant past, it was very common for people to think that these imaginary friends were maybe ghosts or spiritual entities. Nowadays, researchers have come to the conclusion that most imaginary friends are just a coping mechanism for kids to cope with changes such as stress, moving to a new house, or changing school. And taking into consideration that 60% of people had an imaginary friend during their childhood, it's pretty certain to say that most of the times, imaginary friends are just a figment of people's imagination. But sometimes, it isn't. I around with my little sister's camera, and we just found something, like... Uh, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> it was late one night, and Charity Lewis was watching the vlog-type videos her young sister had been recording for the past few days. And all of a sudden, this happens. Check this out. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna show it to you. Just okay. Here it is. Just like, like, look at, look at her face. Ugh. Okay. You wanna press it? Yeah, I got you. Okay. The other day, and we went on a walk, and we also got ice cream that day, and I'm having a lot of fun. And she's like, what's the fuck? And it's like staying there, like. I don't know, it's just. It's like, I mean, she really, she's like, like with, where, where the hell is she going? Like, what is. And then okay. She went, so so we're like, what did she see, right? And then, leaves. so she leaves the room and she like hasn't turned the camera off, right? Like she like ran away. While playing with her toys inside a dollhouse, Charity Lewis's young sister apparently sees something. Scared, she leaves the dollhouse screaming out loud. Now one could easily say that this is just a kid freaking out and imagining things. But what happens next left Charity Lewis and the entire internet creeped out. This is what was caught on camera. And there, there, there it is. Like, there's no like window. There's nothing. We there's know. nowhere that could have come from. Like, we just like don't know what's going on. If you have any idea, please. Did you see that? What looks like a tall shadow figure can clearly be seen crossing the hallway, creeping towards Charity's young sister. Whatever this thing is, it seems to be featureless, as if it does not have any legs or feet. Is this possibly a legit shadow person caught on camera? Or is it something else entirely? But when it comes to paranormal phenomena, it doesn't stop there. In this next video, a mother had set up a CCTV camera on her child's room after she started hearing strange noises at night. In one particular occasion, she captured this on camera. Whatever happens here, it seems as if an invisible force pulls the girl under the bed. She screams as high as she can. Her mother comes over, 
and gets her out of the room. After posting the video to the internet, many people left comments asking her if she had checked under the bed. The next day she does and this is what happens. So I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, people have been asking me, have you been in the room? Have you guys looked under the bed? No, we haven't. We haven't been in the room in the last two days. We've been a little scared. Did you see that? All of a sudden, a doll seems to move by itself. And whatever's going on here, I'm not certain, but there's something really creepy about this doll. After posting the video to the internet, many people left comments asking her if the doll was by any chance mechanical. She answers that she bought the doll on Amazon and that no, the doll is not mechanical. So for those of you saying that the doll is mechanical and that's how it moved, that doll is plastic. That doll is stuffed. I checked. I looked at Amazon. There is no way that thing should have moved like After that. After doing some research, she also came across the information that her house had been built next to an old cemetery. So a lot of you guys have asked me if we've done any research on the house, and I did. Um, I found out that some of the past people that have lived here have had some ghostly encounters. Um, I learned that it was built near, not on, but near a cemetery. Creepy, isn't it? Now, I'm not exactly sure if this is the real deal or not. Some people believe that the mother is actually faking this for views, while others believe that she was legit scared and so was her daughter. I want to know your thoughts. Have you ever come across shadow people or haunted dolls? And what do you think about these particular videos? Could it be that they're just a hoax or is it the real deal? And there, there, there it is. Like this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Also, if you'd like to send me strange videos, thatimpossiblechannel at gmail.com. And I'll see you guys again.